It's a highlight because of the gorgeous building and because of the many people that have shown up here. There are a couple of developments coming together right now that make the orphan drug development model very interesting. And a lot of those patients simply can't wait for the drug to come to market. This is a truly international conference with people from all over Europe here, from all the different organisations involved in tackling rare diseases. Rare diseases, blockbusters in the niche. That was this year's topic at the fourth annual Berlin Conference on IP in Life Sciences. Against the elegant and festive backdrop at the Spanish Embassy, which was hosting the event, participants from all over Europe took part in the meeting organised by event manager Biocom. For me, it's amazing that everybody has to work together effectively to tackle these diseases, from patients, clinicians, doctors, researchers, companies, governments, everybody has to work together internationally. Presiding over an extremely interesting and diverse... The conference was moderated by Claire Skentelberry, the Secretary General of the European Biotechnology Foundation. In her opening remarks, she thanked the Spanish ambassador, and welcomed the group of leading experts in drug development, clinical trials and marketing. Representatives from all of the major biotech companies were on hand, among them Maggie Scharfmaster, Chief Patent Counsel at Genzyme Corporation and keynote speaker at the event. Although rare diseases are often life-threatening, only recently have advances made therapies for small groups of patients a viable goal. That's drawn the attention of the pharmaceuticals industry. The traditional model of pharma to develop blockbusters may need to be changed and at the same time both patients, physicians, regulators and payers expect that new drugs will deliver even more incremental benefit than in the past. The trend towards personalised medicine has gained momentum as revenue from the blockbuster market continues to fall. Some clinical trials in orphan drug development have to make do with studies involving just 20 patients. However, this highly fragmented market is still expected to be profitable for the pharma industry since there are thousands of rare diseases that currently can't be treated. In all, around 30 million people in Europe suffer from one. Developing therapies for these niche markets will therefore be rewarding for the companies involved and also make a huge difference to those affected. This conference with the variety of people here, the level of interest across different sectors um, to bring orphan drugs to market is, is very, very encouraging for patients and I think it's a really good trend that the industry is moving in, in this particular direction. The shift in thinking in the pharma industry is providing patients with new hope. And increasingly, governments are also supporting projects. Orphan drug development now makes sound business sense. This um, is a, an emerging sector, so the Spanish government wants to help research and development because we think that it's very important for the Spanish uh, industry. At the conference, participants were optimistic that the orphan drug market will change dramatically in the future and that even more major pharmaceuticals companies will get involved. Helping people affected by rare, often deadly diseases requires close cooperation between researchers, drug development companies and marketing experts. There are sure to be setbacks. But there will also be many rewards in this difficult and complex field for all sides. I find the presentations extremely interesting because I was not aware of what a problem we have addressing these diseases and these patient problems because of the enormous invest in some cases we have to make and the very few patients that are actually there.